So yeah, I just gotta make sure the car is packed up. Everything's good to go. I'll go, whether it's an Airbnb or hotel tonight, I'll just go take all my clothes and go through them. I have trash bags so I can take the hangers and put a trash bag over it. Um, Cause it's raining too. And also just for regular right protection if it was raining. Um, but yeah, so I'll just take all the clothes. It's like, what's that pile? Is like, it's hangers, like for my whole closet. It's just like clothes on hangers. And on top of it's like a bunch of other shit. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just want to, like, go through my clothes so I have, like, the shit I want, like, comfy hoodies and, and everything, like, while I go, you know, go travel or whatever. I'm staying with Evie for a while. We're gonna vlog and have fun and, like, just kick it. I've been wanting to see her and wanting to do it, so, like, I'm gonna go see her and chill and everything. We're gonna have fun, vlog, um, drink party, you know, just chill, like, I need that and... Before I go, like, you know, go back into the battlefield or whatever and try to fucking... I mean, it's not a battlefield. It's like, gotta go to LA and get a fucking apartment. Or, like, white, pretty privilege. Like, what? you know, it's like, I'm aware. Like, but it's like, you don't know the soul I have. And the soul, like, the soul I want. Like, the bodies I used to have. You know what I mean? So, it's just a mental thing. Like, you know? <laughs> um, It's just crazy. So, yeah, I'm excited to get, like get shit going here i just i want an apartment I, in la i do so i just need to keep like hunting and keep looking for one um what's teetering me or deetering me away is like the money it's like the ones i want are super expensive super nice like hard to get in like they do hard or like soft credit check it's not hard credit check, but it's still soft credit check so it doesn't impact your credit you know how you get a ding every time they do a credit check it's kind of like that so it's a soft credit check that's a hard, that's what a hard credit check is where it dings your credit every time they check it but soft credit check it doesn't do that so it's just a soft credit check but still my credit's like shit so i need to get that like up and then i need more money it goes make money save money and then it's just yeah a few other things just get the documents together um and make sure i don't have this eviction on my record because this whole shit that's going down with my landlord right now so i'm just trying to get the security deposit back from that and making sure there's no like eviction on my record or whatever so um yeah i want to like let them know like i've vacated the property but i'm not going to give them a heads up of like hey i'll be out by tomorrow i'm going to just text them hey i'm out you know what i mean um because this like landlord's weird it's just kind of weird shit so i'm just trying to handle it in the best way and like i was going to leave the apartment in like a not great state you know because it's just a shitty place and when i moved in um that's a whole nother thing when i'm upon move-in day when you move into an apartment it should be like clean you know what i mean like for the most part like little dust bunny or whatever like you know scratch here scratch there whatever pretty ready for the most part i walk in there's dust all over the fucking floor there's boot prints there's boot prints in the tub there's black mold in the fridge freezer the whole fridge freezer disgusting it's old food there's sticky sauces just spilt in the fridge like there's like crumbs of old food from the same tenant just all over the stove like unclean the countertops are just disgusting like the state of the and there was a doorknob just broken like like the sink is clogged the shower leaks like it just everything was fucked like radiator had black mold all over it like i can still get them for black mold and shit so like it's fine um i'm still fully within my tenant rights Ugh. so i'm not worried um but yeah i'm chilling um i just gotta make sure there's no eviction on my record because like when they do that like a when you pull like a trans union report and you see your full credit check and rental history that's where like an eviction would show up but there's ways to get that off of there um, but it's a little tougher with an unpaid balance, so I might just pay the rent that I do owe just to, like, resolve it, but yeah, it's just so much shit I'm dealing with, you have no idea. My neighbor, like, the other, like, a few months ago, like, hit, hit my car, too, like, and then the car was inoperable, like, you know, a little scratch is, like, one thing, and then, like, telling you about it's one thing, like, she didn't tell me anything, like, you know, no insurance, she didn't leave any information, and, like, uh, there was just like yeah she hit the car the car was inoperable and everything um it was making this like i couldn't even drive it you know it's like well scratch is one thing but i couldn't even drive the car so they had to tow it and then the tow truck dented it so they came back with and they couldn't fix it so it came back with one more scratch added on top of that from the tow truck like because whatever they they couldn't even fix it, it was going to cost so much money i had to pay a big deductible like 3k or something to just get my like insurance to cover it so I'm going to try to see if her insurance can cover it. Like, you guys just don't even know the depths that I'm dealing with. And it's because I just haven't told you. So that's what I'm trying to do is just be here and really, like, take the wall down. Because it's, like, crazy. Um, so, yeah, neighbor hit my car. And, like, these other neighbors were harassing me, too. So right when I moved in, my neighbor next door 
one of it was an older man and a couple and he had his ah uh, like i had my blind like say this is the window this is the frame i had my blinds down to like here so where you had to like kneel down to even see this fool kneels down and puts his eyes against the glass and goes like this i walk out in my living room it's like 9 p.m my mom's there my kitten's there and i just have a heart attack like this serial killer vibes like this dude's just staring in your window here's your window where you live in your kitchen and then you just look walk out and there's eyes just staring at you and he's bending down low um yeah freaked out so yeah the neighbors have just been harassing me for a long time and she just like i try to be sleeping on the couch i feel like she just have her ear to the wall hearing me breathe like it could be my ptsd and paranoia and i think that plays part in it but it's like i'm hypersensitive as i'm about like hypersensitive and tapped into energy and shit and just like the walls are hella thin and i just feel like really shitty stuff like it's just really bad energy in there and like she just harasses me and like i'll just be breathing on the couch and she just starts slamming kitchen cabinets like i'm trying to just let go of that energy it's like something of another sort um and one of my friends was like hey like i think you have stockholm syndrome because at one point i was gonna like write her a letter and like leave cookies with it or something like i was thinking some crazy shit because i was like just trying to resolve this like keep peace you know and so i was like gonna write her a letter and be like hey you know like stalking harassment um are, are uh, illegal you know crimes and punishable up to the prison in california um and so um yeah and um so yeah she's where we're at they're harassing me they're stalking me um and um and um yeah and then so they i also i had my window open one day i was trying to let some light in like have it be like a happy space and trying to let some light in and stuff and i had essential oils on my desk and it was the one day like i had like opened my blind i was like let's get some light you know next like in, within an hour i get an email from the landlord saying uh hazardous chemicals are illegal on the property to have hazardous or poisonous chemicals um, so the neighbors basically peeked in my window saw my essential oils and terpenes on the table and reported them as hazardous chemicals flammable materials and like all this shit and like trying to get me evicted, you know? Um, crazy, crazy shit. I was like, and I texted, the, I replied to the email, I was like, uh, I have essential oils that are on the table. Um, you know, I don't know what you want to do with that information, but it's not hazardous chemicals, like, by the way. Um, and I even like said something, I was like, yeah, this is a neighbor, huh? Like, it's the same bitch saying this shit, right? Cause it was the one day I had my window peeked open. So I'm like, wow, they're staring into my window still you know what I mean? Like, this dude had his eyes to the fucking window, and he's still staring in the window to, to spy on me to report me for false allegations. So, stalking, harassment, and reporting for someone for false allegations, making false accusations or allegations against someone, is punishable up to five years in prison. So, I might be suing my neighbor as well. Um, I can't make this shit up. It's just like I'm just finally speaking, you know? Um, so, yeah, that's fun. So I have to sue my neighbor, get a restraining order against my best friend, um, try not to get an eviction notice, all while trying to get out of this place that I straight up told the landlord I feel unsafe here. There was a break in, there was 18 cops that showed up, cuffed my friend on my front doorstep, like on like the porch, like everybody saw it, like everybody's coming out and then being like, oh, what's this hooligan? Like all looking at me like I'm a hooligan. And I was like, just so sad. I was sitting on the stoop with my head down. So I just looked guilty, you know what I mean? Like, and I was like, no, I'm just sad. Like. You know, but, like, that looks the type of way where people are like, oh, she's in trouble. I mean, but I wasn't the one in cuffs, so it's like, eh, okay. You know, speaks speaks volumes. <laughs> um, but, yeah, he got he sent me a $6,000 medical bill for a scratch on his neck um, during the fight when he tried to kill me. He tried to... So, yeah, that's fine. Um, happy things, right? Happy things. No, I'm like trying to get like this out better. Um, yeah, he was like on top of me. I couldn't breathe. I was like screaming bloody murder, like asking for help. Like he tackled me, he contorted my whole body, he pretzeled me down to the ground. Like he did that twice, and I went between breaking away from my phone 911. Um, and thankfully he didn't cut, lunge at me and grab the phone and throw it. But at one point he did throw my phone on the ground and he threw my laptop with no case on the ground. Like almost broke my phone and laptop, like right there. Um, and this was after, yeah, he contorted my body, cut me down the ground twice, and he let me breathe, and I was almost dying. It was um, just like Astro World. So, at least I'm alive, you know, praying for the people that went to Astro World still. They probably have a lot of PTSD from that uh, shamanic ritual. 
um, where they took a few souls and used them for very dark purposes. It's not even magic, just dark reasons. Um, it's not magical. Um, but yeah, uh, enough, enough of that talk. Um, happy things. Yeah, like, it's just nuts. Like, see, so yeah, I gotta get a shiny order against, like, this, my gay best friend. Like, this isn't, like, a dude I was dating, like, little big and aggressive. Like, this was, like, the gay bestie that wears glitter, you know? Broke in my apartment and attacked me, like, and I saw all kinds of shit that I won't even get into. But basically, he's Haitian Creole vampire. So that's fun. Um, so I continue. <laughs> yeah, when he was on top of me attacking me, like, he couldn't, he couldn't even, like, I was just looking into his eyes deeply, like, with this, like, help look, like, I can't recreate. And he just had this, he wasn't even looking at me, he just had this glazed over look as he presses his whole full body weight on top of my chest. Like, my chest bones are still bruised. Like, I have bruises all over my body. I've documented most of it, so I have photo evidence I can use to build the case against him. I need to go reiterate the report to the detectives. Um, it'll be good. So fun. So fun. Love it. <laughs> love it. Love it. I love this rain, and this is what I love. It's magical as fuck right now. I wish the back was like more aesthetic, but it's pretty. It's pretty rain. So yeah, a lot happening. Enjoy the ASMR. And they smoke this bowl. Yeah, dude, I'm just having like a, like a, you know, I'm like one thing after another, like, I don't even know what we end. Positivity, not negative. It's easy to dwell. It's easy to be negative. It's so easy to do that shit. Just like, zone out, you know, and just be like. But yeah, let me just like list all the bad shit that happened over. So my ex fiance had children. Deepest betrayal someone could ever have. You know, see your children, see your family. Basically, two, three daughters. Two with one woman, one with another. The baby mom ended up dying a month after, like, I found out. So then he's like, she's like, he's, she's, he's dead now, it's fine. I was like, what? Um, then, my, like, that shit with my mom's ex-boyfriend or whatever, like, he was trying to do shit. It's, like, just a bad, bad stuff. You know, my best friend broke in and attacked me, almost killed me. Then this cute guy was dating, like, pulled a gun on me. That was, like, a little fucking gay server. Like, I just, I don't know. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. And then now I'm trying to get out of my apartment because, like, there was a break-in, like, and it was just crazy. Like, he attacked me. He almost killed me. Like, I've never begged or screamed for bloody murder like that before. I had the front door open, and he was, like, on top of me. Like, I couldn't breathe. I was just baking throughout. But just stop. Stop. Like, the last breath in my body. Like, you know? And, um, yeah, like, just screaming for help, you know? Screaming for a bloody murder. And I had the door open, and with my big toe, like, my foot, I mean, my whole body, he's on top of me, pressing down hard on me, I couldn't breathe, because my chest hurt, my chest is so bruised, you know, and I was using, the door was, front door was cracked, because I was trying to throw stuff out, and get out, like, get out, and I kept saying, get out, and he wouldn't leave, like, and I freaked, I just freaked out, you know, like, I freaked out, and... 
the door was open, like the front door was still open and um, I like he was on top of me and I was just using like my big toe to like open the door so I could scream and yell. And so like and he's on top of me and I'm just like, stretching my foot like as far as I can just to open the door, like with my foot just to scream so someone could hear me and they didn't. Thankfully I called them one and they came and that's what saved me. I feel like we gotta like fake a smile for like YouTube. It's like no, I don't feel smiling. Right <laughs> so I think this will be good. Good road trip. Good games. I can be smiling. I can raise my vibration. I can just choose happiness. Like children don't have a reason to be happy. They just are happy. You know? But yeah, it's like. Resilience. Or some shit. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. I'll probably upload these vlogs like separately because I'm just ranting now. I'm just like. Hopefully all these road trip vlogs aren't just like boring rants, me just like ranting, but like, dude, a lot has happened, I gotta fill you guys with a lot of shit. <laughs> and I gotta like, just get you up to date, you know, with all the tea. But yeah, I think Joshua Tree sounds chill, I just gotta like check out Airbnb, maybe do Joshua Tree Airbnb, like I'm doing hotel in LA, then Laguna Lake for two days, then like, Joshua Tree Airbnb, then like Salt Lake Airbnb. So I gotta like look all that, but I gotta like book movers first. That's like most important. So that's a thing. Um, <laughs> I'm like haven't even done that yet. This is just like the flying by looking at my pants. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think it's a new era. So that's chill. I'm excited. What is that a meow? She's really resting. My baby's really sleepy. I'm just gonna let her sleep. She's a sweetheart. Like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be fun. I think I need a switch up of scenery, you know? Change of scenery. Something new. You know? Um. Yeah, it's fucking Lunar New Year, bruh. Come on, get with it. It is about to be Lunar New Year. So, that's gonna be good. Mm. Let me see how I can put this camera. I don't know where to put it. Like, I need to get, like, a fucking camera thing for this shit. Like, you guys stick there, but then it's, like, it's such a box thing. I'm an alchemist. I laugh at pain. I mean, not, like, totally. It's not like, oh, grandma died. <laughs> it's not like that. No, but like we alchemize paint, like, you know, it's fun to alchemize. So fun. <laughs> okay, let's put it like here still, maybe? Okay. You're right, this is, this is, this is way better. Okay, perfect. All right, so. I'm going to use our... I'm fucking on one. No, I want to be on one. But I'm like driving. I'm being a safe cookie. Mm. But yeah, I gotta get all this shit in storage. I kind of want to go to Georgia. Like, I miss Georgia. I miss my grandma in Georgia. I miss her so much. Georgia sounds really fun. 
But yeah, I'm going to Michigan, see my mom and shit. It'll be fun. Go to Utah. Go to Salt Lake. I've been wanting to go to Salt Lake. I've been thinking about moving to Salt Lake. But yeah, my father basically told my grandma in Georgia that I was like hanging with bad people and like I was jobless and all this shit. I'm like, I'm actually like never been, never been better can you tell no and i'm actually making money like hanging with good people fucking yeah i smoke weed fucking shoot me like have only fans like okay such a bad person like so yeah there's some family members i'm just not talking to because they're just like muggle shit it's just muggle shit we're like what's the crystal what's the chakra it's like go to hell just <laughs> if you're not gonna go to heaven go to hell you know or whatever i don't fucking know what i'm saying but fuck off um <laughs> Yeah, no, my own grandma was, like, leaving me on red. And I was, like, not grandma leaving me on red. I texted her, missed you twice. She, like, left me on red, like, twice. It was, like, two separate times, too. Like, and I was, like, should I send a third, like, miss you? So she could leave it on red again. So, yeah, but my dad basically, like, we got in a fight or whatever. Like, shit wasn't going well with us. So he just goes to his mom, who was my grandma, and goes and tattles. And is, like, cozy is a bad person. So now my own grandma's, like, ignoring me. Because my dad just was, like, talking shit. <laughs> Trying to get this shit to balance. Yeah, no, that's crazy. 